What is the main difference between joint replacement and the LRTI procedure? So for joint replacement, I believe that they're actually more anatomic. When you're doing a traditional LRTI, you're changing the anatomy. The thumb doesn't move like the thumb moves with it sitting on the trapezium. Research shows that the thumb acts somewhere between a ball and socket joint and a saddle joint, being, being a saddle joint. And the BioPro thumb, being a ball and socket joint, fairly well replicates that motion. Another important thing, I think, about using the implant arthroplasty is that it prevents subsidence much better than any kind of suspension, in my opinion, because you've got actually something physically, structurally there. And later on, what we can talk about coming to things like pinch, you can gain a lot more strength with the implant arthroplasty than you can doing any kind of suspension, uh, especially if it's a biological suspension like an LRTI. What is the main benefit of the BioPro modular thumb implant? So I think the things that make it a great implant is that it's modular in design. So you can put any size stem with any size head. You've got uh, multiple different sizes that you can use. So it can really fit just about any anatomy. That varus angle to the design is something that's unique to the BioPro thumb and it confers a great deal of stability to the implant and subsequent function. By uh, having the minimal resection, it doesn't burn any bridges, whereas other uh, thumb implants have had large resections in the past. And historically, the Swanson uh, silastic implant, obviously we know that doesn't do well with load-bearing joints. So it, that creates other problems with the silicone synovitis. But even the Swanson titanium didn't have that varus angle and it had a higher dislocation rate. Uh, there's some other products out there that have uh, their merits, uh, such as material of being uh, pyrocarbon. However, the mod lack of modularity makes it very difficult to fit one of those in every patient. Another thing that's unique about the BioPro implant is that counting the, the monoblock design, they've got some exceptionally long follow-up compared to a lot of the other implants because they're either, other implants are either off the market or they're too new. Who are good candidates for thumb joint replacement? I actually prefer to put the uh, BioPro thumb into a younger, more active patient. Uh, typically, they're gonna be stage two to three arthritis rather than pantrapezial. Uh, and while pantrapezial arthritis is, is a relative contraindication, I have had people with STT arthritis uh, either arose after the BioPro thumb was put in and had subsequently a workup and evaluation showed that it was just in the STT joint and we went and did a, a resection of just the small distal part of the scaphoid at the joint and they were very satisfied. So that's an option uh, and why it's not a, a full contraindication. Uh, the more advanced age, uh, particularly it's more bone quality than age, uh, because I encourage uh, joint replacements to improve quality of life, but if a patient's 75 and not very robust and their trapezium is squashed down, they have pantrapezial arthritis, they're mostly looking for pain relief and they're not going to be high demand on that thumb. They're less likely to, to be a good candidate for a BioPro thumb or, or any other implant arthroplasty. How do you set expectations for your patients prior to surgery? Well, I think an important thing to know, this is the art of medicine. You need to have a good rapport with the patient. No surgery is going to be at 100%. So I like to remind my patients that there is a recovery process. We talk about, in my patients, we talk about the fact that when we're making that socket in the trapezium, we really need to make sure that there's time for that trapezium, the trabecular bone, to actually corticalize and make a socket like the hip has an acetabulum. So by giving them time to uh, form that cup or acetabulum in the uh, trapezium, it gives them a much more solid base and I think it'll make uh, less chance of subsidence and a, and a better long-term outcome.